I'm going to be ranking the best budget cards in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier. And these are going to be about 20 of the best budget cards in the game. First thing, guys, I want to say a lot of these cards may not be what budget cards were in the past years because you're able to make a ton of more MT nowadays because there is no contract. So the budget cards today are more like 10, 15, 20,000, where in the past they were like two, five, 10,000 MT were more of the budget cards. But first guy on the list here is going to be Amethyst Bruce Bowen. I think he's a solid budget card, probably going to go in that B tier category. I'm also going to be basing it off, you know, how much they go for, for how much value they do provide and just going off what are the better cards in the game so bruce bowen small forward shooting guard six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan i mean he's going to be a great defender 90 perimeter defense 93 lateral with an 88 steel so his main thing is definitely going to be defense and he's going to be a solid three and d card really can't move with the ball can't really dunk jump shot not exactly sure he's got kareem base which I'm assuming isn't the best. But yeah, so Bruce Bowen, definitely going to be a good budget card in the B tier. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below as well. What are some of your guys' favorite budget cards in the game right now? And let me know what you guys are changing about my tier list um, as well. So yeah, Steph Curry here, the Amethyst version. I think he's going to be an A tier. I mean, we know what Curry's going to be able to do. He's just going to be a really good three hunter. And this card's actually really good for like the offline grinds. If you're trying to grind clutch offline or TTO offline, he's really good just for chucking up threes against the CPU. But yeah, Steph Curry, six foot three with a six foot three wingspan. I and mean, we all know what Curry's gonna do, like I said. Just be able to shoot threes, 93 three ball, 90 mid range, 85 speed, 85 acceleration. He's got a 92 ball handle with an 85 speed with ball. So he's definitely gonna be able to move on the court. He's got one of the best dribble sigs in the game right now. And then he's also got one of the best jump shots for a point guard. So Steph Curry, definitely gonna be in that A tier category. Our first S tier guy is gonna be Amethyst Danny Green. If you guys have not used him, he is an absolute beast, man. I think he might be the best budget card in the game, or at least one of them in that top five S tier. But yeah, Danny Green, shooting guard, small forward, six foot six tall with a six foot 10 wingspan. I mean, and this Danny Green card, if we're talking about 3 and D, he is going to be the perfect guy you want. 93 ball, 84 mid range, has a knockdown jump shot. Like if you guys haven't used this card, absolutely insanely good jump shot. And then defensively going to be a monster. 91 perimeter, 93 lateral with an 80, 90 steal. And he's also got an 82 block, 80 interior defense. He's got a 70 driving dunk, so he can definitely go to the rim and dunk the ball. He's got tons of good gold shooting badges. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this Danny Green card, to be honest, especially for budget card is only about you know 17 to 20 thousand mt he is going to be the perfect budget card in the game andre drummond i think is solid he's probably going to go in that b tier category looking at amethyst robert ori he's going to be another s tier budget card i mean he is just literally insane if you guys haven't used him he him and danny green are probably the two best budget cards in the game right now power forward small forward six foot ten with a seven foot one wingspan i mean offensively dude's gonna be a monster 93 ball and 88 mid range has some decent defense but this jump shot is super fast super money easy to green like very good jump shot for robert ori yes his stats might not look the best but this card's wingspan and player model in game is absolutely insane with that good of a jump shot and he only goes for around 10,000 mt so robert ori definitely going to be in that s tier category looking at amethyst jamal crawford i wasn't really the biggest fan of this card when i looked at him you know when he came out with the timeless set Maybe he's a little bit better, but I'm gonna probably throw him in C tier. Six foot five, six foot ten wingspan, can play no defense, can't really drive to the basket. I'm not exactly sure how good this jump shot is. If this is a really good jump shot, then maybe he deserves to be in B tier, but can't play defense, can't drive to the basket. I'm probably gonna have to throw him in that C tier category. Nicholas Batum. This is a tough one because I think he's very close to S tier, but I think for now, I'm going to have him in that really high A tier category and he might get moved up to, moved up into S tier later in the video. If you guys don't know from my tier list, my S tier is my top five at that position or that tier. So in, in this example, we're doing budget cards. So my S tier is going to be my top five budget cards in the game. But yeah, look, uh, looking at Nicholas Batumir, he's going to be a power forward, small forward, six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan. Defensively, going to be very well rounded, 87 tier, you're 87 perimeter he's also got an 85 steel and an 84 block jump shot not the best of jump shots but he does have the michael jordan dribble style which is super nice to have but overall just going to be a very well-rounded small forward so nicholas batum definitely going to be at least in that a tier maybe in s tier amethyst wilt 
This really depends on the person. If you like running inside centers and you want a good inside, I mean, he's still going to be Will Chamberlain, right? He's still got that really good player model. He's still got that eight foot wingspan, seven foot one speed going to be way too slow in my opinion 64 speed obviously can't shoot threes and his defense really isn't going to be the best but that play a player model and that wingspan is going to make up for it but i'm kind of debating putting him in c tier i'm probably going to go c tier i think drummond is probably the all-around better center looking at the amethyst sean livingston i've heard really good things about this card so i'm going to throw him in a tier and maybe even put him up at the s tier later in the video sean livingston is going to be a shooting guard point guard he can play point guard and he's six foot seven with a six foot eleven wingspan yes only a 63 ball but i think he's got a good release or if you maybe give him a coach boost and a shoe boost you can get that up into you know the high 60s maybe the low 70s and he can definitely be able to knock down some threes. He's also got a 92 mid-range, 82 speed. He's a good defender. He can go to the basket, get a dunk. Just the fact that he's six foot seven tall with it with a pretty good jump shot, has the Michael Jordan dribble style. I think Sean Livingston definitely deserves to be an A tier. I think he only goes around like 15,000 MT. Diamond Jeremy Shohan, he's probably gonna be an s tier because i think he's a better small forward than a guy like batum and like i said he's about 20 to 25 000 mt so definitely one of the more expensive cards on this list but i think a budget card this year is a lot more expensive than than what it was in past years because everybody has so much mt so yeah jeremy shohan for me is gonna be in that s tier category uh amethyst zion williamson honestly i don't think is very good i'm probably gonna throw him in c tier maybe even d tier like this card is not good at all can't play no defense can't really handle the ball yes he's still going to be zion williamson so he's going to be good at going to the basket but that's pretty much it this card only six foot six can play power forward i like his, his pink diamond is insanely good because of the speed because he's a way better defender he's got an 81 three ball he can move the ball a little bit so this pink diamond is one of the best power forwards in the game but this amethyst I'll keep him in C tier for now, but he might get moved down to D tier. Diamond Paulo Benchero, I mean, he has to be an S tier. The dude is an absolute beast at that power forward position. And you can run him at center. Like, he's a pretty good small ball center. He's kind of getting a little bit outdated at the center position. He's still obviously insane at power forward. Center, you can still run him. He's 6 foot 10 with a 7 foot wingspan. Defensively, not going to be the best. But since he's kind of an athletic build, he's got that 88 vertical. He's going to play a lot better defense than these stats and badges do show but offensively he's got a good jump shot good speed he's really good at going to the rim and he's going to be a great finisher at the basket as well with a good jump shot like i said and that michael jordan dribble style so once again a more expensive card kind of like jeremy shohan around 20 to 25k but definitely going to be worth it at this time of the year and with this Pau gasol i think he's actually pretty solid i'm gonna throw him in beats here i would much rather run him over a guy like wilt over a guy like zion williamson diamond jabari smith this may surprise a lot of people but i'm gonna throw him high beats here i really wasn't the biggest fan of this card when i did use him i will give him he has a really good jump shot but to me that is about it his player model in game is way too small he actually only looks like six foot eight instead of six foot ten seven foot two wingspan is nice he just like way he looks way too small in game way too skinny feel like he gets bullied and kind of pushed around and like i said the only thing he's got going for him in my opinion is the jump shot he's got a really good jump shot he's got that 85 three ball so if he's wide open in the corner the wing the top of the key he is definitely able to knock down very consistently but other than that he's still a good card that's why he's still in b tier he's kind of more on the expensive side as well he's still a good budget card you can still definitely run him just not going to be on the level of some guys in a tier and in that s tier category and with this tyson chandler is an absolute monster for only 10,000 mt if you guys have versus card or used him tyson chandler is a beast seven foot one seven foot three wingspan has a great player model in game he's going to be a great defender 92 interior 88 block he's even got a 75 lateral quickness so he can move a little bit you know kind of laterally he's also got an 85 driving dunk 90 standing dunk basically he's just going to be a really good budget inside he's got really good rebounding stats really good defending and he's good at finishing around the rim good at dunking the ball so tyson chandler definitely going to be in that a tier category jane and ivy I think he's probably another A tier budget card. I wasn't the biggest fan of this card when I did use him, but for his price, about 20, 25,000 MT, he is definitely gonna be worth it if you guys are needing a point guard. Uh, next card here on the tier list is gonna be Amethyst Kawhi. I think he's gonna be B tier. I think a guy like Batum is gonna be a little bit better at that small four position. I mean, Kawhi Leonard is still gonna be Kawhi Leonard. What are his tendencies? 78 on ball steal tendency is pretty good at this time of the year. I mean, he's still gonna be a good defender. 
you know what maybe Kawhi goes in s uh a tier do you guys think Kawhi is b tier or a tier or where would you guys put Kawhi leonard on the budget card tier list i might move him up to a tier but i think i'm gonna keep him in b tier for now next card here is gonna be amethyst michael jordan i don't think this card is very good he's gonna go in that c tier category scotty barnes he was really good at the start of the year i will say he was one of the better cards in the game like i would say he was the best small forward for like the first week of the game being out but He's only six. I'm mean, six foot eight tall is nice. Seven foot two wingspan. He's just a bang average card. He doesn't really excel at anything necessarily. There's like no stat above an 85, except for like, you know, vertical, which is nice. Hustle, shot IQ, you know, intent intangibles and potential. But other than that, every stat is below an 85 and most of them are around like an 80. So he was really good when he came out. When the game first came out, he was obviously one of the better cards. But I feel like at this time of the year, he's going to have to be a lot lower on the list. Marcus Smart, I feel like is solid. He's a good, uh, good uh, defensive budget point guard. He is definitely going to be in that b tier category and then jerry west is going to be another you know kind of very similar guy to marcus smart i'm going to move Kawhi leonard up into that a tier and then we do have to move one of these guys into s tier and i think it's a no-brainer for me it's going to be this amethyst nicholas batum so yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys favorite budget cards in the game and let me know what you guys would change about my list as well and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace